Hello, I'd like to talk in this video about the philosophy we use for fitting boots at Lou's. And I think it's epitomized by the difference in meaning between movement and motion. Movement is an act of changing physical location. So my hand is here, now it's here, it's moved. And I don't want any of that happening inside a ski boot. My heel should not be allowed to move side to side, nor should my forefoot be allowed to move side to side. But I do want motion, because motion is the process of moving without the necessity of relocating. And it's absolutely critical to, to good skiing and to a comfortable boot fit. Motion is my foot rolling side to side with every single turn I make. As I change direction, turn from left to right, my feet roll with every turn. And it's essential that my feet be able to do that. If I've fit myself in too large a boot and have to buckle it very tightly to prevent my foot from moving, that tight buckling prevents my foot from having any motion. And that hurts. It hurts a lot. So correct boot fit is a fit that has no movement, but plenty of motion. And to achieve that, it's essential that you pick the right size shell, because I want my boot to, to limit movement, but allow motion without having to buckle it tightly. I want the shell to be the right width and the right volume, so movement is limited just by the position of my foot inside the shell and not by tightly buckling it. It means that if I have a wide foot, I'm going to buy a wide boot. If I have a narrow foot, I better buy a narrow boot. And if I have a foot that is both narrow and wide, which would often be a woman's foot with a narrow heel and a wider forefoot, I better buy a boot that's narrow enough to prevent movement at my heel and then have the boot made wide enough in the forefoot to make my foot comfortable. That's how we fit boots here at Lou's. As always, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about, come into the store or contact us at your convenience. Have a great day.